大家好，我是罗明，欢迎回来《世纪帝国四》。那么我们的战役，吼，我们的战役依旧继续，对，我们就开始吧。Jean d'Arc had liberated Orleans and put the English army to flight. However, as the English retreated, they became an obstacle for Charles the Dauphin. He needed a clear path from Chinon to Reims. Where he would be crowned king. Nearing the town of Pate, the English sought to regroup, but Jeanne d'Arc and her French army were closing in. Good, good, good. Pate is a tiger. In the battle of Jeanne d'Arc, the Dauphin's army was defeated. The English army was defeated from Lorraine. 河谷往北方的安全地区逃走，来到帕提，帕提吧，这次念帕提。法军可以让他，呃，无法全身而退Fleeing the Loire Valley, the English were on the run. As they retreated northwards, a French vanguard was in close pursuit. Caught out of position, the French faced a surprise attack from the English rearguard. Detachment of English archers blocked the road with palings, an effective measure against cavalry. The French vanguard had to clear the road if they were to call in reinforcements. With the road cleared, the French army could safely bring in reinforcements from nearby allies. The French army paid their ally and received a detachment of reinforcements. Hearing the rallying cry of the English coming from the village of Saint Sigmund, the French were alerted to the enemy position. Voyez, 
St. Sigmund and prepared to rendezvous with Jean d'Arc. But a large English detachment had set up a blockade. So long as that force was in place, the French vanguard could not reach Shan. the English blockade destroyed, the French vanguard rejoiced at the arrival of Jeanne d'Arc and her troops. With their rear guard eliminated, the remaining English forces would now seek to escape the valley through the town of Pate. Three enemy regiments were converging on the town along three main roads. Jeanne had either to stop the regiments on the roads or race ahead to fortify Pate itself. saw a chance to bolster their numbers and sent payment to their ally in return for reinforcements. Archers, Oyez, command demand. Archers, les command demand viennent, job temper. Pex, vite. Dicte moi vos command demand. Courez où, presque pas. Ridet, courez où. Presque tous sur la brée, courez où. Oyez, les command demand.
As the forces of the valiant Jeanne d'Arc entered the town, the people of Pate rallied to her cause.哦，我看到看到那个枪枪兵马上倒掉。对，马上手，马上手。Attendez les commandements, Manans. Manans, nous devons salaire. Commandements in continent. Oyez bien, compagnon. Sex, Veitchi. Comme il vous plaît. Voilà. Il est là. Il est pas de problème. Compagnon. Je vous dis, quand vous êtes en bain de sang. 嗯，好不次。对。
After an intense pursuit and a hard-fought battle, the French crushed the remaining English army, thwarting their desperate retreat. Now the triumphant Jeanne d'Arc could safely lead Charles to Reims for his coronation as King of France. If he doesn't have a good position, right? Ah, I'm going to be a good position. If he doesn't have a good position, I'm kind of sad. Hmm. When I saw it at the end, I don't know if I saw it. Yes. 那个历史页面的部分，对。Medieval soldiers suffered brutal injuries in battle. Their chance of survival lay with barber surgeons. From cutting hair to removing limbs on the battlefield, the job of a barber surgeon was varied. And so were their tools. Six hundred years ago, surgery was very different from today, and this is some of the kit that the surgeons of then would be using. For example, amputations. This bit of kit was used to cut through the skin. Then you need to get through bone, and this is what they used. Believe it or not, this was used for neurosurgery. But what they didn't have at the time was anesthesia. Despite carrying out major surgery, barber surgeons had no formal training. What they learned, they learned on the job, and the place where they practiced the most was the battlefield. This was also a time when new surgical techniques were developed, particularly when it came to saving the life of a future king. In 1403, 16-year-old Prince Henry was injured in the Battle of Shrewsbury while fighting rebels trying to overthrow his father, King Henry IV. The arrow penetrated his right cheek and became lodged at the base of his skull. He was very lucky it didn't kill him instantly. Prince Henry pulled the arrow from his face. The shaft came out, but the arrowhead Remained lodged inside. They needed to get that out before infection set in and killed him. To the rescue, celebrated surgeon John Bradmore. Bradmore recorded what he did to save the prince's life, including a picture of the tool he made to extract the arrowhead. And it works by ensuring that the tip is closed and then inserting it. Along the track caused by the arrowhead, until it meets the arrowhead, then the screw is turned to expand the tip, locking it in place inside the arrowhead. And then, ever so slowly and gently, you extract, making sure that you don't lose it along the way. I'm amazed by the skill that would have been needed to do this successfully. Can you imagine how good that felt when that came out? The young prince survived to become King Henry V, hero of Agincourt. But perhaps the real heroes of medieval medicine were the barber surgeons, who saved countless lives on the battlefield. Alright,那么今天这一集就到这啦,谢谢大家观看那喜欢我的影片帮我按赞加订阅,有什么想看的游戏可以在下方留言告诉我,就要去玩,那我们就下期见,大家不不。